trigonomic ratios. Now, I used to call this Chief, Chief Sokotoa, but that's not really a true name. But we have three things called sine, cosine, and tangent. Have you ever heard of them before? Yes. Look on your calculators. Look for a little button that says SIN or COS or TAN. And those are the trigonometric functions on our calculator. And I'm going to teach you about them today in a very simple manner. Okay. What's that? No, I do not. All right. Is it trig? It might be under trig. Oh, trig. So, anyway, but sine, cosine, and tangent, I'm going to kind of teach you how they relate. Trigonometry is the science of relating the sides of a right triangle to the angles that are on it. And it goes under a little acrostic. And I want you to remember the word Sokotoa. Sokotoa is spelled S-O-H, so ka, C-A-H, and please write that vertically down the side. And then toa is spelled T-O-A. And let me kind of explain why we call that Sokotoa. It's kind of a funny word, but it relates to the sign being the opposite over hypotenuse as a fraction. And I'll explain that in a sec. The cosine being adjacent over hypotenuse. And lastly, the tangent being the opposite over the adjacent. And I'm going to explain what those are and how they work in just a second. But this is just a little acrostic that helps us to remember the three trigonometric ratios. Opposite over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse, and opposite over adjacent. And let me kind of explain what we mean. If this is my angle A, I have labeled this side over here little a. And compared to this angle A, that would be called opposite. This side B, compared to this angle A, would be called adjacent. Adjacent means next to. And then the longest side in the triangle, Justin, is always called the hypotenuse. So we have three sides of the triangle. And that's relating to side A, angle A. So let me kind of show you how this applies down here. If I ask you to find the sine of A, we look at this angle. And I want you to think sine. That's opposite over hypotenuse. So comparison to this angle, what letter is opposite? This little a. And compared to this angle, what side is the hypotenuse? C. So the sine is A over C. OK? The hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. That's opposite the right angle there. Katie? Wait. You said what was opposite the hypotenuse is opposite the right angle. No, no, no. Where are you trying to find A over C? You said what was opposite of the... Of this angle A, because we're focusing on this A here. They tell us what angle to focus on. Let me, let me show you a couple and you'll kind of get the hang of it, okay? The next problem says we're supposed to try to find cosine. Cosine of what angle? A. So we're still focusing on this one. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So let's just put that right here. Adjacent over hypotenuse. What's adjacent to this angle? What side? B. And what's the hypotenuse to this angle? This long side, and we call that C. So our answer is just B over C. We're going to do more of this. You'll get the hang of it. Just hang in there. Now, this next one has a new trig identity, but it also has a new what? Letter. A new letter. So now we're focusing on angle B. So we're going to change some colors here. Angle B. All right, that's up here. Compared to angle B, this side is opposite. And what's this side now? That's adjacent. Adjacent means what, once again? next to. 
Is this still the hypotenuse? Yeah. Okay? So, we're look, focusing on angle B. We come up to tangent. What does O and A stand for? Okay, so we have opposite over adjacent. What letter goes with opposite? Little b. And what letter goes with adjacent? Little a. So the first thing, James, you have to focus on is what angle? Angle b. And then second, you have to say what trig function? Sine, cosine, or tangent? And that's why learning Sokotoa is a really nice little help to you. Second one, cosine B. So katoa, that's adjacent over hypotenuse. All right. So look at angle B. What's adjacent to B up here? What letter? Little a. And hypotenuse to B is still little c. It's new. It's different. But it's not hard. Now the, the one below is much easier because I put numbers in there. So let's look at the bottom one. Down the side, I'm going to write Sokotoa again so we have it visually. Sokotoa. Write it down there. It'll help you. Okay. First question. Sine of x. Circle your x. This is sine. My pen is pointing. So sine is what over what? Okay, so it might help to put opposite over hypotenuse. Now let's think. What is opposite x? What number? Good, 8. What is hypotenuse to x? 17. So the sine of that angle is 8 over 17. Nice job, Grace. All right, cosine of x. Am I focusing on the same angle? <coughs> okay, let's look here at cosine. Cosine is what over what? Adjacent over hypotenuse. Who thinks they can give me the fraction? What's adjacent? What's hypotenuse? Kyle, go ahead. Would it be 15? Over? 17. Excellent. Because that's the adjacent to x. Is 15 adjacent to y? What is 15 is compared to y? Yeah, it's opposite. What is 8 compared to y? That's adjacent. What is 17 always? That's always hypotenuse. All right, let's look at a different one. Tangent y. Let's switch colors because we're at a different angle here. Tangent of y. Tangent is what over what. Look at our, our, our labels here. Tangent is what over what? Opposite over adjacent. So what is opposite of the y? 15. What is adjacent to the y? 8. Is it easier with numbers than letters? Okay. Sign of y. Whatever what? Words wise. What's sign? Good. Opposite over hypotenuse. Who thinks they can give me this one? Katie. Hold on, I have to catch up with you. Opposite. Okay, good. 15 over 17. I have to think through it myself and do the visual. Good. All right, flip her over. This is really straightforward. We need to know how to use our calculators. So turn your calculator on. You need to find the button on it that says cosine. And I just want you to put in the number 36. You might have a button that says trig. You hit the trig button, and then it'll come to sine, cosine, tangent, and you can choose the one you want. See what you get. Does your cosine say... 0.127. No. Okay. Does your cosine say 0.809? Yeah. Yeah. Who says 0.809? Who says 0.127? All right. Those of you that say 0.127, I need you to go to mode, and I need you to go to mode, and I need to change your, your mode from radian to degrees. 
So there's a mode button on there, Haley. You need to change it to degree mode. I don't need you to worry about what radians is right now. Just understand inches and centimeters. You understand those two? Degrees and radians are the same idea. Different measuring unit. Don't worry what they are right now. Change to degrees. And then you should be able to put in the cosine of 36 and get 0 0.809. Does it work now? Okay. All right, let's try the next one. Someone punch in. Tangent of 70. What do you get? You should get 2.74. Tangent of 70. Is it the, like, cost? Tan. T-A-N. <laughs> Did it work? All right, let's try our last one. Sine of 30. Does everybody get 0.5? So we need to be comfortable using our calculators. All right. So now let me show you the fun part of trig and the whole benefit of having trig stuff and the trig identities. Notice on the side we have a little Sokotoa there written for you. All right, just as a reminder. I want to find out the value of x. I know this is 20, and I know that's 25. So focus on this angle. What is x? compared to that angle. What word? It is opposite. What is 25 compared to that angle? It is hypotenuse. Which function uses opposite and hypotenuse? Sine, cosine, or tangent? Sine, right. Sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. So I'm going to fill in the numbers, and we're going to figure this out. It's really simple. The sine of 20 degrees, because that's the angle, what's our number for opposite? Do we have a number? X. What's our number for hypotenuse? 25. Can someone plug in their calculator what the sine of 20 degrees is? Point three, four, two equals x over 25. Some people like if they make this into a proportion. Is it okay if I put it over one? How do I solve a proportion? Cross multiply. So what am I going to multiply? What by what? You got it. Equals x. I get 8.55. So what did we just find? The length of x. And the way we do this is our calculators are programmed to tell us the ratio. It has that program ratio number in there. Let's try one last one. Circle your angle. What word goes to associate the 10 compared to that angle? opposite. What word is associated with the x here? Adjacent. adjacent. All right, so what trig function relates opposite and adjacent? Okay, so tangent. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. That's the TOA down here. Opposite over adjacent. Do you see the vertical idea? So let's fill them in. Tangent of what angle? 55. What do I put in for opposite? Uh, ten. 10. What do I put in for adjacent? X. X. And let's go over 1. I need to someone to tell me what is the tangent of 55? Point. One point. Okay. Over 1 equals 10 over X. How do we solve that? John? We're going to cross multiply, right, like so. How do I solve for x? Hmm? 
This is like 2x equals 10. Guys, what do you do? Divide both sides by. So divide 10 by 1.428. I get 7.002. Is that right? Is the cross multiplying idea important here? Fairly crucial, isn't it? So as you're, fun as you're thinking through the functions sine, cosine, and tangent, remember SOH for so, because there's the fraction. Think cosine, adjacent over hypotenuse, and think tangent, opposite over adjacent. Really straightforward. It shouldn't be a very difficult, I hope.